This three acre compound perched in the hills of Malibu at first glance kind of just looks like any other mega mansion in the area, but as inconspicuous as it looks on the surface, this home is actually the site of the famous rehab facility called Promises. That's the same one that made headlines for years for hosting celebrities like Britney Spears, Lindsay Lohan, and Charlie Sheen. Some locals appreciate the home, others seem to be opposed to it, but for the first time in over 30 years, this property is actually now available for sale at just under 20 million bucks. I think we've gone over just about every other property type here on the channel over the years. I mean, we've got into the biggest house in LA going up for sale, the most dangerous house in LA being auctioned off, some of the most controversial houses being listed, and we've covered the most expensive homes ever sold in the area. But this one is new territory, even for me. Today, let's talk about the $20 million rehab facility that just went up for sale in Malibu. So the original business at this property was that rehab facility called Promises, and it was once considered one of the most sought after rehabilitation centers in the world. It was founded by a real estate developer named Richard Rogg and ended up being Malibu's first luxury treatment center. Richard opened Promises in 1989 to help celebrities and other high net worth people overcome addiction. Now, I've never been to a rehab facility, you guys, so honestly, I don't know too much about them, and I'm not sure that I'm going to paint this whole picture in the most accurate light, but before we get on to the listing photos, first let's just talk about what Promises was all about. The facility was designed to create this relaxing, calm, easygoing, supportive environment for people who were having addiction problems. This place was super expensive and exclusive. It cost between $55,000 and $90,000 for a 31-day program. I read that if you stayed here, it was kind of like a combination between a spa and a boot camp. Patients would have these really strict routines, waking up early every day, eating three meals a day, exercising every day, doing group therapy chat type sessions, and then doing individual therapy sessions as well. On the other hand though, these patients also had access to the great weather, the amazing views, a yoga studio, a massage facility, a swimming pool, a hot tub, and even horseback riding. They treated 36 patients at a time, which kind of sounds like a lot considering this is just a residential house, but it is a really big property. One of the things that Promises was known for other than the price and the setting is they actually did a really good job with confidentiality and privacy. This wasn't always easy for celebrities and high profile clients, but based on where the house sits within the neighborhood and the staff's protocol, they did their best to keep clients out of the public eye. Eventually, the Promises facility was sold off, and from what I could tell, it's changed names a couple times since then, but this was definitely a trend-setting operation in the Malibu area. All right, now that we know the backstory, let's take a look at the house. So we've got a price point of 19950000 This is a 12-bedroom, 10-bathroom house with 9,100 square feet. Some of the other specs down here, it was built in 1957. It's got 40 attached garage spaces, which sounds a little excessive, but I'm sure that's for guests and staff and stuff. We're sitting on over three acres, and they're priced at about 2200 bucks per square foot. The description tells us this is actually three contiguous single-family properties at the site of the formerly world-renowned Promises Malibu. The lot itself has got ocean views, but it's also very private with these oak and fruit trees throughout. And they say those three single-family houses total over 9,000 square feet, so they're probably about 3,000 square feet apiece. At the end here, they tell us that you can utilize it as is. You can acquire an over-the-counter permit for a cosmetic remodel of your choice, or get new coastal development permits to totally reimagine this magical space to match your dreams but we all know that that is going to take a lifetime if you're dealing with the Coastal Commission. You guys know I like to go down to the price history to see what this owner paid for the house, but it doesn't tell us that information, although it does tell us the property taxes are $65,000 a year. Hopping over to the photos, we've got a drone shot looking to the south, and then another drone shot that's kind of looking up the north coast. And if you look closely, I'm assuming that all of this is the property. You've got the tennis court, the three houses, and then all the guest parking here and over here. This is what it looks like as you approach the place. Definitely private. Kind of a random dining table shot, but I guess what they're showing off here is that you do have a pretty clear ocean view. Kitchen, dining, and living room in one of the three houses, and apparently these are all community areas, so if you're getting treatment at this facility, then you're just hanging out with the other guests or patients in these same areas. Lots of seating in this room. This is probably one of the rooms where they have like their group therapy sessions. Cool little hangout area in the backyard. It definitely feels 
feels like a cozy area that you can kind of settle into with all this brick on the ground, the pool, all this shade from all this vegetation. It's nice. I love it when people build decks like this around the trees. So you got the tree trunks just coming up right through the deck. Massive tennis court. And yep, we were right earlier when looking at that drone shot. This is the staff parking section. Here is another one of the three houses. And that house comes with its own swimming pool as well. Way smaller though. So here's the living, kitchen, dining room area in this home. Here's a closer up of the kitchen. Man, I mean, this place isn't all that fancy. The finishes are sort of falling apart. What's this sign here say? Chef's fridge, do not take anything out. They don't have very many bedroom shots. This must be one of the bedrooms where two patients share the room because there's two beds. Nice, it's got its own fireplace though and a TV. And hey, I know this is not the typical house that we're looking at, but we gotta remember what this house is being used for. All these bedrooms have ensuite bathrooms with these soaking tubs and these windows that look out to the landscaping. It's pretty nice for what it is. Other listings in this exact region of Malibu are more in the three to $10 million range. So 20 million is a bit of a big ask, but it's also a pretty unique spot compared to those other homes. This property ended up actually being badly damaged by the Woolsey fires in Malibu back in 2018. That fire was gnarly. It wiped out almost 100,000 acres and destroyed over 1,600 structures in total, but they rehabbed the rehab facility, so those photos we were just looking at were obviously after this remodel. Nowadays, the home is leased out to a company called Cliffside Malibu. They seem to be running an outfit pretty similar to what promises was for all of those years. And check it out, according to Cliffside's website, 96% of patients say that they're actually a better person after treatment. How cool is that? Whoever buys this property will need to honor the lease that's currently in place with Cliffside, and there's not really any telling exactly how long that lease is for or how much Cliffside is paying. According to Zillow, the lease rate for homes in this area ranged from like $8,000 per month all the way up to $90,000 per month, although these are going to be more for standard leases or for short-term Airbnb type leases. From what I've seen out here in Arizona though, the lease rate on these treatment facilities is typically pretty high, so I wouldn't be surprised if the lease rate for Cliffside falls on the higher end of that range. Nowadays, it looks like there are dozens of other treatment and recovery centers scattered around Malibu, with many of them operating out of residential houses, just like the one we talked about today. So even though it's super sad that a lot of people struggle with this battle of addiction, it's nice to see that Promises created a bit of a trend in that there's now a lot of options for people who are going through that with facilities like this. It'll be interesting to see who buys this place and if the new owner decides to keep the house as a treatment facility or if they end up going the route of just tearing it down and building a spec home here. You know we'll be talking about it here on the channel though whenever that time comes. I'll see you next time.